Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you a simple and easy DIY using plastic bottles. For this DIY project, I have two empty comfort bottles and we are going to turn them into wash. To begin, we need to create a base by applying gesso. Gesso is a primer that helps create a smooth and even surface for painting. Once the gesso has dried, I'll paint one bottle with white color and other one with blue. To apply the color, I'll be using a sponge. It gives nice and textured finish. After the paint has dried, let's add some details to the white colored bottle. I have small cute leaf here and we are going to take its impression on the bottle. For this, I'll be using pink and golden colors. However, feel free to use any color of your choice. Now, I'm applying the golden color to the back side of the leaf and then I'll gently press the leaf onto the bottle. This will create a beautiful impression of the leaf on the surface. Don't worry if the impression seems light. We'll be adding more impression to enhance the design further. Now let's take another leaf and apply pink color to it. Gently press the leaf onto the bottle again and see how wonderful the impression looks. Did you like this easy technique? Give it a try and don't forget to share your experience. Now. Continue applying leaf impressions to cover the bottle, creating a unique and artistic design. For an extra touch, I am applying golden color to the mouth of the bottle. I have this small beadlike stickers that I will stick near the mouth of the bottle for some added decoration. But this step is optional. Finally, apply a coat of varnish to finish it off. I had so much fun working on this technique and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you like this DIY, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Continuing with the second DIY, let's work with the blue colored bottle. To begin, I am applying masking tape to create a specific design on the bottle. You can follow the pattern shown in the video. Then use favicol to cover the remaining part of the bottle. Next. Take some golden shining powder and sprinkle it over the glue so that the powder sticks to the bottle. Continue the process until you cover all the sides of the bottle. Slowly and carefully remove the masking tape. However, when I removed the tape, some of the blue paint came off along with it. It might be because of the fevicol which acted as a strong adhesive. But no worries, accidents happen and we can easily fix it. I am going to give it a touch up using blue acrylic color. Finally, apply the bead to the mouth of the bottle and I'll give it a golden touch too. Don't forget to apply varnish to protect the design. I 
I absolutely love how this one turned out and I hope you do too. Moving on to the third DIY, for this project, I am going to give a makeover to a hand wash bottle. We usually have these bottles near our wash basin. But just imagine how beautiful it would look if we decorate them. Firstly, I'll apply a base coat of gesso to the bottle. After that, I'll paint the bottle with a pearl white color. I initially tried using a brush, but it didn't give the desired look. So I switched back to using a sponge for a better and more textured finish. Once the paint has dried, it's time to add some extra sparkle and shine to the bottle. Apply glue to the bottom part of the bottle, just like I'm showing you in the video. Now, do you remember the shining powder we used earlier? Sprinkle it over the glue, creating a gorgeous sparkling effect on the bottle. Next, I am using golden color and press it onto the bottle using the sponge. This step will add another layer of texture to the design making it even more eye catching. Continue following the steps shown in the video. Additionally, paint the upper part of the hand wash bottle with the golden color. That's it guys, this is the final look of all the DIY projects. As you can see, they are very easy and low cost, making them accessible to anyone who wants to give them a try. Thank you so much for watching and as always I truly appreciate your support. Your encouragement means a lot to me. Now it's your turn to share your thoughts. Did you enjoy this video? Did you find it helpful? If so, please consider sharing this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then keep crafting. Bye bye.